Get ready for the Squawking Eagles podcast. And welcome back to the Squawking Eagles podcast. I am Mike. This is the post-game show where the Philadelphia Eagles have defeated the Miami Dolphins 31-17. to a, uh, a real a real good game on both sides of the, the ball for the Eagles. Uh, defense coming up big with some turnovers, and the offense coming up big with some big plays. Uh, right now, you're going to hear Miguel, Mark, and myself with our in-game takes, and I will see you on the other side. So the Eagles need to control the ball, run the ball, keep the Dolphins off the field, and they could win this game. I know I, I, I predicted the Dolphins to win this game, but if the Eagles play that way, I don't see how they can lose. Let's go, Birds. Well, the Eagles start the game with the ball, drive down all the way down the field, and stall once again in the red zone. Two design run plays during that first um, series. <sighs> The Blue Birds did come out and boo for having to take the field goal in the first drive. Can't be scoring field goals. Let's see what the Dolphins do with their first drive. Hopefully, it's nothing too scary. Are you serious? A third and goal and you do a quarterback draw? What is going on? Like, what is that call? play call? Now you got you only score three points. You can't trade field goals for touchdowns here. The they this is going to be a disaster if they just kick keep kicking field goals. <sighs> Literal doing everything you need to for a perfect drive and then you go, mm, let's do QB runs and ruin everything." Great job, Brian Johnson. Great job. You're a genius. Just genius. Yeah, I I've, I've got a question for Miguel and, and Mark if they're listening to these snippets while we're leaving them. How come they have Penny on the bench? On these, you know, these goal line power back runs, and they run Greenwell. How come they're not running Penny? Is what is going on? Why isn't he available? Why isn't he playing? Might be a good sign. Dolphins come out on their first uh, snap in the lay of game right away. Start off with a five yard penalty. Well, the Eagles defense do what they were supposed to do. Force the. Uh, the Dolphins to punt the ball away. A couple scary moments. Well, not really scary moments, but they have some good play designs where that wide receiver comes in motion and catches it as the ball is snapped. Looks like the Dolphins have a lineman down, which hopefully our defense will capitalize in the next series. We'll see what happens here. So great stop by the Eagles defense. First stop of the game. Let's see what our offense does now. Eagles defense comes up big on a third and long, and they force a fourth down, and they're gonna Dolphins are gonna have to punt. Nice, I liked it. Hassan Raddick is in there. It's looking good. Keep it up, D. Keep it up. And a little side note there: when they were introducing the defensive players for the Eagles, Cuttingham looks like a very interesting player. Definitely have like to have a nice sit down interview with him. Well, Jalen fumbles the ball again. Gets rushed by Phillips and Chubb. Chubb knocks the ball out of his hands. Miami recovers. And the turnover issues continue for the Eagles as the Dolphins pick up the ball on the all Eagles 23 yard line. That's because that, that fumble happened because Jalen Hurts won't run the ball. If your options are not there, you gotta take the ball and run it. What are you doing? Now you just get, you're giving them free points now. Well, a flag saved the Eagles defense from giving up a touchdown. Dolphins end up settling for a field goal. They really didn't move the ball from where Hurts fumbled the ball originally. So that speaks a lot of credit to the defense and what they've done. These little trick plays the Dolphins are doing, either it's going to pay off for them or it's going to hurt them. I'm hoping the latter of the two, but we shall see. 
3-3, less than a minute left in the first. Eagles are lucky. They, they only got up three points with a guy holding and took a touchdown off the board. They're, they're lucky. They're lucky it's only 3-3. All right, after a terrible offensive setup where we fumble the ball and turn it over, our defense stands tall, holds them to only a field goal. Hassan Reddick's looking great. Our D-line's looking great. Um, so far, the secondary's doing what they can, where they can, so minus the almost touchdown that got called back on the holding. Hopefully we can uh, keep things up. Hopefully the offense drives a little better this time. Maybe we, I don't know, crazy thought. I know it's like weird, brand new thought to the football. Run the ball, and maybe we'll be more successful. But let's just see. Go Birds. Boston Scott with a nice solid return, hopefully with a nice start. We have a nice drive. Go Birds. Well, after Boston Scott gets the ball out to the 40-yard line with a great return, Devontae Smith actually decided to catch a ball tonight. End of the first quarter, still tied 3-3. Let's see what happens. Go Birds. One quarter down, not quite the start to a shootout that some many were expecting, so I'm cool with that. Hopefully we can uh, take a little bit from the first quarter, make the changes we need. Get going, and we got this. Go, Birds. Well, the Eagles try to go for a tush push. Offensive offsides? Never heard that one. But okay. As the Eagles go for the tush push again and seemingly get the first down. Nobody can stop the tush push. Not even the refs. Okay? Okay. And the brotherly shove works 92% of the time all the time and yet the referees still called a penalty on jason kelsey who think they think he's the left guard even though that's his, that's his arm the, the referees just want to call a penalty on the eagles brotherly shove so badly they'll just throw any penalties out doesn't matter they'll call on anybody i can't stand it and the eagles get into the end zone baby dallas goddard with jordan malata paving the way to the end zone Let's fucking go. It wasn't pretty, but the Eagles score with a Dallas Goddard touchdown. I'll take it. It wasn't pretty, but I'll take it. The Eagles, Eagles defense, defense with another freaking stop. It's almost like the Eagles are telling the Dolphins, you're not running the ball. We dare you to pass it against us. Eagles come up big. James Bradbury almost had to jump on a pass to Tyree Kill. Unfortunately, he didn't. He didn't get it, but the Eagles coming up with big stops against this high-powered Dolphins offense. What a great statement to make. Defensive series there, boys. I love seeing Jordan Davis clog up that middle. Slay and Bradbury both doing what they're there to do. Hopefully we take this uh, punt. Turn into some good points on the next offensive drive. Let's go, Birds. Eagles D coming up big yet again. All right, Sean Desai making some good calls here. On that first down run by Jalen Hurts, he came up a little lame there. He was limping towards the end of that run. Let's keep an eye on that. Well, we can't say that the Eagles are not trying to run this ball. They're just having a real hard time running the ball. So, Mark, don't get upset. They're doing what, they're, what you want them to do. They just can't seem to do it. Let's just stay patient. Hopefully something opens up. Let's not get away from it. Man, what a play. Hurts takes a licking. We thought it was going to be an interception. Devontae Smith comes down with the ball he is going to get hit from behind by Chubb. and the play previous where Jalen ran he did look a little hurt let's see how hurt he is now to taking that big hit Devontae Smith bailed Jalen Hurts out with that catch and that when he got hit with the uh, arm um, can we also please stop running Gainwell uh, I don't want to see him anymore put Penny in put Boston Scott in. I, I, I don't want to see Gamewell anymore. I've seen enough. Woo! Just when you question if Jalen Hurt is hurt, he scrambles to the right, looks downfield, throws the ball to A.J. Brown, 
Touchdown Eagles. Let's fucking go, man. All right, well, he was down at the goal line. All right, maybe it wasn't a touchdown, but he's still down at the one. What a play by Jalen Hurts. See, Colin Wirtz, Colin with thought he got hurt. I think he's got hurt. But he made that play work, and he found A.J. Brown. It's too bad he didn't get into the end zone. But here comes the brotherly shove. The brotherly shove strikes again. Touchdown, birds. After the great scramble from Jalen Hurts to the pass to A.J. Brown to the one-yard line, they push the ball in. Eagles are up 17-3 to three with like five minutes, less than five minutes to go in the second quarter. Let us fucking go. And Mike, stop being so hard on uh, Gainwell, man. They're trying to run the ball. Relax, my guy. Relax. What a crazy drive that ended up being. Beautiful scramble on the fourth and three. I'm actually really so in love with Sirianni for going for it then. Great scramble by Hertz. Great throw. AJ Brown getting open, doing what he's got to do. And then, of course, you've got to believe in the brotherly shove. Birds all day. Let's go. That long pass play by Tua to Wilson, you can't tell me that there wasn't any holding on Jalen Carter. He was laying on the ground, and the, and the offensive lineman was holding him down. Isn't that holding? This is very interesting to see the Eagles' defense, um, the way they're defending against Tyreek Hill. They seem to be playing man on the receivers, but also kind of containing Tyreek Hill. Like, he's going to catch the ball, but there's at least three to four people around him after he catches that ball. So it's an interesting look. Something to keep an eye on. Nolan Smith with the sack. I like it. Let's go. My guy, Nolan Smith with the sack, and as I record this, Tyreek Hill catches a touchdown in the fucking end zone with three players around him. Fucking ridiculous. Well, so much for that containment plan that they had against them. We cannot be having James Bradbury on Tyreek Hill. There's no way. That is unacceptable. This was brought up a couple weeks ago where Bradbury is good against the bigger defenders, but not the speedy defenders. That was a bad look by the Eagles defense. I hope an adjustment comes at halftime about that. Let's put Slay on him or something like that. That cannot happen again. That was ridiculous. No, defensively, they had a few good plays. But the over-the-top play with Tyreek Hill, if you don't say over the top, it's going to burn us all night. So we got to make sure we're covering that more. On a side note, Nolan Smith comes in, gets a sack. I don't want to overlook that just because they scored a touchdown. Beautiful play, Nolan Smith. Congrats on your sack. Very happy for you. Can't wait to see what you do more here. Go Bears. I am not a fan of going into halftime with all three timeouts from the first half. How do we not attempt to, like, drive at least to get a field goal? Not a fan. The Eagles are going into the half 17-10. to 10. Thanks, Mike. Okay, Mike. Seemingly Miami having the momentum offensively right now. Let's see how the Eagles adjust at halftime, both offensively and defensively. Got to find a better way to cover Hill, and we've got to find a way to run this ball and get the pressure off of Hurts. Uh, I feel like he's getting too overwhelmed, and, and the pressure in the pocket is not... He's not getting that time in the pocket right now. All right. I need the defense to come up big here with the Dolphins getting the first uh, first drive in the second half. Let's let's go, defense. Let's go. All right. Second half on the way. And can we do something about Chris Collinsworth, like, calling the Eagles games? This guy is constantly always against the Eagles for some reason. It's annoying. Anyway, let's see what adjustments have been made. Defense held, forcing the punt. That's that's what you need to do. Now you got to go down and score. Let's go, Jalen. Well, the Eagles survived Miami's first drive of the second half. 
as the Dolphins have a false start on their punt. Anyway, the Eagles come up big on their first drive of the Dolphins and stop them, forces them to make a punt. Let's see how this offense adjusted during the halftime break. Well, the Eagles take the first drive and stall out. Uh, a pass to A.J. Brown over his head. Um, the question will call. Why didn't they call pass interference on Eli Apple? But it is what it is. Eagles still up 17 to 10. Seven minutes left in the third. Well, starting from next to nowhere, we got a first down, but that's about all we got. That pass to end it, though, was a little uh, disheartening. I mean, I get a little bit of pressure trying to be a quick, but lead the receiver, my guy. Just a little bit. That's easy first down. Either way, though, we got some stuff going. Hopefully the defense will stick up again, st- stop them, and maybe get us some better field position for our, for our offense to come through and maybe put some more work in. Hopefully we can run the ball a little more. Go Birds. Man, the Eagles escaped the Dolphins a second drive in the second half. With luck that the referees didn't call a face mask on Bradbury. And the play before that where Tyreek Hill caught the ball and then kicked it out of his own hands. Ah, not a good look for the second half. We escaped that. Let's see what this offense does. We've got to put some points on the board here. We cannot be comfortable with a seven-point lead. There's only about, like, three minutes left in the third quarter. Turnover on downs. Uh, Bradbury got away with a face mask. Uh, I'll take it. And uh, let's uh, score a touchdown here. Go up 24-10. I, I like that. I feel comfortable with that. It needs to happen. You know, sometimes people just got to blink, and things happen. So, you know, there's that. But, uh... Hey, nice, uh, nice no catch there for Hill, and uh, the following play of you know it happened. So defense held strong. Let's go, Birds. Run the ball, run the league, run the ball more, win the league more. Give the ball to Swift, score touchdowns. Go, Birds. Oh my lord! Well, another interception off of a tipped pass by Jalen. This game is now tied 17 all. And just when you blink your eyes and you thought the, the Eagles were going to do something to take control of this game, they fucking blew it. New game. Now we got to. Now we definitely have to go down this field and, and, and make a statement on this drive. Well, that's not the offensive play we wanted. I Don't get me wrong. I get that the play is deflected but when the player is right in your face you gotta know to sidearm that to the ground hurts like every quarterback knows to sidearm this to the ground (sighs) I hate watching that it's alright it's alright we'll figure it out we got this we got this I still believe birds win let's go come on birds I believe run the ball though run the ball Come on, Johnson, run the damn like ball and the moron. entire listening audience that there are always less fumbles than there are interceptions. Because you can't throw an interception when you run the ball. But you can win games when you run the ball. Go, Birds. What, what was that? Um, a defensive touchdown? What, what, what was that? I don't... I, uh, AJ Brown, baby, with a fucking catch. Breaks through a tackle, gets into the end zone. Eagles make up for that batted interception. Touchdown, Eagles. 24 17. Let's go, baby. Defense has got to make a stop here. Eight plays, 75 yards. Touchdown, AJ Brown. That was a good drive. Way to respond after a Dolphins touchdown. Yeah, the defense has to come out and stop them. Let's go. A beautiful plays there. Great little uh, run there by Swift early when it came to a bit of a wall, followed by a nice little catch and run outside, making that linebacker just eat it, followed by a very um, lucky play for us with that bad bounce with the pass. 
off uh, Zacchaeus's leg, but give it to Brown, put it in the end zone, finish the drive. Of course, Elliott puts it through the uprights like he does. Burr's on top, 24-17. Still some game left to go, but let's go, Birds. Come on, we're on fire. We got this. Fly, Eagles, fly. Every time, guys, every time we get to third down, doesn't matter the distance, we play this super soft zone, literally just inviting every team ever, just, hey, here's a free first down, just get the first. And they do. And we wonder why they keep driving on us. Come on. Let's go, birds. Figure this shit out. Big play slay. All day birds. The Eagles defense come up with a big turnover as the Dolphins were trying to drive into the end zone. Darius Slade, number two, baby, comes up with the pick. Good stop by the Eagles. They've been getting pressure on Tua this whole drive. They've had a couple uh, missed snaps during the drive. But the Eagles defense come up with a big play right now. My name is Dr. Ben Hopefully this offense can turn around, drive down the field, put some points on the board, and make this a two points game. That's what we need right now. Let's go. Great job, Slay. That was the defensive play we were looking for. Interception by big play, Slay. All right, offense, now it's your turn. Defense got the ball back. Let's score here. Let's go. And the Eagles with the big possession, fourth and one, go for a tush push. And Jalen Hurts comes up with the first down. Because 92% of the time, it works some of the time. But, I mean, if you go by the stats, it's really 88% of the time. But still, I'll take that. Still close to 92%. Let's go, Birds. Time to run out the clock. I saw our punter lined up out there, and I literally started freaking out, saying it's fourth and one. We got Sirianni as our coach. We got the brotherly shove. We got the team to do it. What are we doing? Go for it. He calls a timeout. Offense comes out, grabs that brotherly shove directly to a first down. Sirianni, I love you. I wish our coordinators wouldn't make as many good calls as you do, but I love it. Let's go. Go, Birds. Yo, you cannot stop the brotherly shove. A.J. Brown comes short, catches the ball, comes up short for the first down. But if we watch the review, he was across the line. But the brotherly shove, they go hurry up offense, brotherly shove, get the first down. Let's go, Eagles. Keep that clock moving. Give the ball to Gainwell. Let him run that inside run that Mike is disliking today. I would also love to point out that if you look down the line of scrimmage for the past two brotherly shoves and just did another one, their hands and helmets are 100% in the neutral zone and offsides. Like, there's just, like, seven penalties on each of those. But, like we've said, you can't stop it. They tried. I mean, Kelsey literally walked up, told everyone, just get down and go, and we did it. So, let's go, birds. I don't even know if they waited for a call from the coach. I think Kelsey called that play. I'm going to rewind that later. It's about eight minutes into the game, or even it's after the fourth. Check it out. Go, Birds. So I know the uh, commentators just mentioned that they were offsides again, and there was an offsides call, and, you know, it's a free first down. Um, but like I said, if you, if you guys watch, I, I think they're just so nervous, the defensive line of Miami, that is, of how we're running this ball, how we're playing the game. You go back and start watching these, and it's – and I understand it probably happens a lot on, on all the games, but there are offsides, I think, eight plays in a row on this drive. Like, it is insane how much they're lining up offside. There's another one, right? I'm watching it. He's way across the ball. His hand and his helmet are 100% across the ball. But it is what it is. Go, Birds. Oh, my God, what a catch by A.J. Brown. Beautiful. Nick Seriani must be feeling it because he calls a play shotgun formation. Jalen Hurts takes the hit by number 43, but still completes the ball to A.J. Brown at the 10-yard line. Let's go, Eagles in the red zone, threatening to score before this game is over. Let's fucking go. What a pass and a catch by Jalen and A.J. Jalen hung in there, took a hit, 
and AJ Brown just catching it right in everyone's face. Wait, well played, well played. Just chewing the clock up. I'm loving this drive. I want to take a moment real quick after that last uh, big reception by A.J. Brown. Congratulations, A.J. Brown, tying the NFL record five straight games with a touchdown and 125 yards. You're phenomenal, my bud. You, Devontae Smith, Dallas Goddard, uh, DeAndre Swift, we got a phenomenal cast of star talent. All we need to do is utilize it correctly. All we need is these right play calls, and we're going to have some great games. Go, Birds. Fly, Eagles, fly. That touchdown by Gainwell... I apologize, Gainwell, for the shit I've talked to you on this season. That was remarkable. Uh, wow. Wow. Run the ball. Run the league. Let's go, birds. And Mike's new favorite player, Kenneth Gainwell, spins his way into the end zone. Touchdown, birds. Go up. Two scores. Let's go. Time for the defense to shut this game down and call it a day. Less than five minutes left in the fourth. You could get the champagne out. Pop those bottles. Safe to say. Eagles look like they're going to walk out of here with a win. Uh, what a run by Gamewell. I, I like seeing that. Um... This game is in the books now. Let's go. Eli Ricks, phenomenal defensive play against their best receiver. I love it. Let's go. It's good to be a Philly fan this time of the year. Let's go, Birds. We forgot about last week. Last week didn't happen. We got this. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a blunt, if you have a cigar, if you have a cigarette, Spark it up. You can relax and luxuriate for luxuriate, sorry, for the rest of the game. Philadelphia and Sirianni looking good after this big game. This game has really proved to me that no matter what type of offense you come in and come in with, this Eagles defense can handle. I guess except for the Jets offense, which we're not going to talk about anymore. But I'm just saying, this Eagles defense came up big when he needed to. Happy to walk out with a W. Good win for this team. Looking forward to playing Washington next week. Like I said, spark them if you got them. Smoke them if you got them. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fly, Eagles, fly. Let's go, birds. This is the game we needed after last week. Let's keep up this mentality. Let's run the ball more. Spread the ball around when we do throw it. Keep up the straight, great defense. Jordan Davis was looking great in the D line. Jalen Carter looked great. Cox had some good plays. You know, you have, that's a legal play there, Chubb. Anyway, um, Son Reddick, even Nolan Smith got in on it. Like, we got this going, and we love it. Come on, birds. Let's go. What a win by this Eagles team today. A couple mistakes, a couple better balls, and two interceptions. Not Jalen's fault. Um, not the most cleanest perfect game, but he got the job done. First place, six and one. Birds, let's go. Mike, are your neighbors watching the same game? Hit that music. And that will do it uh, with a final score again. Eagles 31, Dolphins 17. Thank you for listening. Um, also, if you have not yet done so, please like and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Go ahead and follow us over on Instagram. And we are definitely on X and TikTok and Facebook. Um, if you are listening to this on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, please leave a review and a follow. It will greatly appreciate it. Thank you. And we will see you next week where the Eagles play Washington on Sunday at 1 o'clock. Thank you. Go Birds.